Oh, well, welcome back to the wonderful world of amateur radio with VK6CS. Um, and this is part two of the Baofeng UV5R. And uh, a quick run through. Although, you know, part one was 20 minutes long, so it was, wasn't as quick as I expected, but I thought that I would just start the camera and just go through it rather than sort of flash through it like a lot of people do. And people have got to look at it and say, what did he do again? And play it back again. And uh, I thought, well, I'll just start the camera and I'll just do it. So now I'm going to put the uh, the local repeater frequency into a memory position. Okay, so it has to be in has to be in frequency mode, and the frequency that we're going to store has got to be on the top line. And the little Channel mode. And, mode. and the little black arrowhead has got to be on the top line there. That's one four six seven hundred is the output frequency of the repeater we're interested in. So we'll go to menu mode. Menu. Uh, menu 27 is the one we're interested in, and memory channel 075, enter. Receiving memory. So it's received the memory, that's 146700, so we'll come out of that. We then go to the scan button here, which is the asterisk scan, and we just press that. And as we do, the frequency changes from 146700 to 146100, because remember we've already set our um, split frequency at 600 kilohertz in part one and then it's a minus shift so it's gone down 600 kilohertz from 146700 to 146100 and now we go to menu, menu. memory channel 075 transmitting memory and it's just stored the transmitting memory and we can exit that so now if I go from VFO mode here into channel mode, channel 075, and then press the PTT. There we go. There is the uh, there's the local repeater. So we've stored that. Now I can't call that, you know, Rolly Stone repeater. You can probably see there's a there's a repeater there that's got a name on it. A repeater there's got a name. Um, I can't do that with channel 75 unless I connect a laptop to it. You can't program the name from the keyboard here. So uh, I'd have to uh, connect a laptop to it to, uh, to change that from channel 75 to Rolly Stone. So I hope you found that useful um, and uh, that will enable you to, to program repeater frequencies into, uh, into a memory on your Baofeng. I'll watch it and I'll see how clear it is. Um, and if I think it looks a little bit uh, iffy, I'll, uh, I'll redo it, and um, you might want to comment on that. If, if you think it's straightforward enough to, to follow, then I'll, uh, I'll leave it as it is. Now, I'll just go back into frequency mode here, and um, just show you a couple of things that I didn't show you before, and that is, um, if I go to 1, 4, 6, 9, 7, 5, I'll just press that PTT. Yeah, OK. So I've got a radio tuned to 146975, which is out of the way. It's in between the uh, repeater frequencies. It's not going to bother anybody. And uh, I'll just show you that alert. Now, remember, the um, if you press uh, uh, press and hold this, you'll get the alert, which will strobe, audibly alarm, and it will also transmit your alert on the frequency that you've selected. So whether you've selected this one or that one, um, whichever one you've selected, the alert will go out on that frequency. So I'll just show you that. And you can see the alarm. That's the alarm coming from the radio over there. And that's coming from the speaker on the radio. And that's turned that off. OK, so that's uh, just a demonstration of that alert. So if you're out with a group and um, you, you think you might, if you're doing mountaineering or you uh, you're putting yourself in jeopardy somehow and you think you might need an alert. It's a really handy feature to have that on that radio. I mean, you might break your jaw and not be able to speak or, uh, you know, hit your throat or something like that. And um, you'll be able to alert your friends that uh, you, need to be, uh, you need to be rescued. And um, the other thing too, one, I've got a radio tuned to, the, uh, to this particular frequency. I'll just show you the um, Roger Beep. Now, the Roger Beep is menu item number 39. And uh, I'll press that again, and then I'll just select on. And Confirm. remember, pressing menu again is basically enter. So it's menu to select, change the parameter, 
menu again to save that. Um, so now if I press the PTT, can you hear that? This is VK6CS to uh, Houston Mission Control. Are you receiving? Over. So if I want to play um, astronauts, um, you know, I could run around the house. I'm sure, uh, you know, I could tip the goldfish down the toilet. I'm sure it wouldn't mind. Uh, I put the goldfish bowl on my head, and then I could prance around in slow motion, pretending I'm Neil Armstrong or Buzz Aldrin. Then uh, I'd want the Roger Beep on. As I'm not in a, uh, that much of a psychotic mood today, I'll uh, turn that Roger Beep off. So off and store that. Okay, so now if we go to um, one or two of the other things, I was just going to show you. Oh, yeah, so receive lead off. So if you want, you can turn the um, receive lead Black off. Uh, oh, sorry. So, so the receive, so when it receives something, you can actually pick the color of the display. You now, I'll get this right. As I said, you know, it's it's fumbling time here at VK6ES. Well, I hope this, <coughs> excuse me, makes you more more uh, comfortable with your own fumblings. Because everybody does it. Everybody fumbles. You know, but what they do in the privacy of their own home is entirely their own affair. Okay, so. Menu. Um, so when it receives, you can have it so that it does nothing, or you can have it so that the display goes purple, or the display goes orange, or it goes blue. Um, I've got it uh, I've got it off because uh, I don't want to waste my battery power and if I'm using this outside I'm um, I'm not going to see that anyway so um, and uh, the same with the transmit you can do the same thing with that so you can probably hear that saying backlight selection so come on focus I really hope I don't have to do this again and again we've got the same selection of colors there purple orange blue and off and um, I'm happy with off. Um, WT LED orange, that's just the display colour. Um, I quite like orange and as you can see it matches the tablecloth quite nicely. I must remember to take my tablecloth when I go uh, orienteering. Um, now, what else have we got in here? Uh, the offset we've talked about. Um, auto LK. I did th this, this might be the I can't remember if that's the talk or not, but uh, you can turn this talking on and off and you can select the... Oh, let's just see what... Um, auto talk, what are the options on that? Uh, I will turn that off because it's obviously not that one. <laughs> um, okay. Come on, focus. I can't see very well, but uh, anyway, let's persevere. Now, this MDFB and... Um, uh, MDFA which are 21 and 22 you can probably see that's changing their frequency name channel all that's doing is it's saying on that line you either have the frequency displayed or the name displayed you know and you've got A and B for top and bottom so you can just select what you want with that this is a really versatile little unit for the money I just can't believe how um, how versatile this is it's a shame Baofeng don't um, don't make a mobile radio, you know, 25 watt mobile radio for, you know, 120 bucks or something. And if you're listening, Baofeng, wakey wakey. Now, um, Menu. what else have we got in here? Uh, I think um, I think we've covered the rest of it. So there we go. I think uh, I think we're. Channel bandwidth. Ooh, don't want it on narrow. I want it on wide. Confirm. Thank you. So. There we go, and um, you can either dial the frequency in. I'll just put the frequency of the local repeater back in. One, four, six, seven, zero, zero. Menu. Um, and uh, what did I do that for? Channel bandwidth. Uh, I don't want to do that. Yeah, one, four, six, seven hundred. I didn't need to press menu there, so that was me. Uh, what with a bit more fumbling, but I'm sure you get the. I'm sure you get the idea. Um, and was there something else? Was there something else? Was there something else? No, I don't think so. I think that will 
uh, I think that will do as far as the Baofeng UV5R goes. So I hope you found that um, interesting or informative or both. And uh, as always, uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.